Hello, I am Asit, a graduate student pursuing my PhD in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur. In this presentation, I will be talking in brief on some of our work on classroom thermal comfort, which I am doing under the supervision of my thesis advisor, Professor Ram Gopal. This work was originally presented in the ASHRAE conference on efficient high performance buildings for developing economies. For long, Indian classrooms have been naturally ventilated, though over the past couple of decades, an increasing trend of air-conditioned classrooms is being seen. However, India's current energy scenario does not forebode well for such a transition. So the requirement is to ensure comfort in classrooms, whether they be air-conditioned or not, and formulation of such standards that give guidelines for thermal comfort without overdraining our energy resources. Just to stress on the energy vulnerability of India, we show here a picture from the chaos that resulted due to a massive grid failure during June 2012. Our objective in the current study was to check on the comfort levels in naturally ventilated classrooms, particularly those of IIT Kharagpur. We also analyze attitude of occupants to other parameters of their thermal environment like air velocity and humidity. Surveys were conducted in the classrooms of mechanical engineering department. These surveys were what have been called in literature as right now surveys, where measurements of temperature, humidity, wind velocity, etc. are taken simultaneously as the students fill up a paper based questionnaire. We give here an example of the questionnaire. Numbers put below the options are the numerical values that were used for later analysis. These numbers were not put in the actual questions though. A summary of some of our observations is given here. One important thing to notice here is the large differences between APD and PPD values. APD is the actual percentage of dissatisfaction among occupants as calculated from their survey responses, while PPD is the predicted percentage as calculated from Fanger's model. This here is the distribution of votes across the thermal sensation and thermal comfort scales. On both scales, majority of the votes are in the central three categories. Acceptance of thermal environment among the occupants was estimated using four different criteria. Votes in central category of sensation scale, votes in central category of comfort scale, votes that answer acceptable to the thermal acceptability question, and votes that, votes that say no change for the thermal preference question. While three of the criteria give relatively similar values, thermal preference is too stringent a criterion for judging acceptability. As a gross evolution, we can see that satisfaction over the whole survey remains over 80%. Examining responses to the acceptability question, we see that votes on cooler side of the thermal sensation scale are more accepting as are votes that feel air movement is just right or even breezy. When humidity is not felt to be just right, acceptability is greatly compromised. But over the survey, we found that 82% of the votes were for humidity being just right or slightly humid. This was even though partial pressure of water vapor at 3 kPa was recorded on 3 separate days. This speaks to a remarkable level of acclimatization to humidity amongst the occupants. Majority of the votes were for a preference of feeling cooler. Cross-checking air movement with thermal preference votes, we see that more than 20% of the respondents who felt air movement was steel did not prefer to feel cooler. This shows that air movement is not associated just with cooling by these subjects. Students who felt the air was breezy do not necessarily want to be warmer though. This speaks to some excellent acclimatization with high air velocities. Whenever humidity is not felt to be just right, most occupants want to be cooler. This may not always compromise the acceptability levels though, as has been seen in the earlier slide. But it does tell us about an interesting correlation occupants make between humidity levels and temperature. Overall, the results show that there is no reason to ascribe naturally ventilated classrooms with lower comfort or occupant acceptance levels. Also, subjects seem to be quite well acclimatized to higher velocities and humidity levels. Though there is a majority desire to feel cooler, this does not significantly compromise acceptability levels. 
We appreciate the cooperation of the students who participated in this survey. We are thankful to Ashish and Dinesh, two undergraduate students, who helped with taking measurements and conducting the survey. We are grateful to Professor Mathur, head of the information sale, for giving us access to historical weather data of the campus. Thanks for watching. We will be posting more summary presentation on different aspects of our work on thermal comfort for classrooms in tropics. You may send any queries you have to my email.